You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Dean. Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Real World After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. Uh, and now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Real World After Show. Hey, what? That sounded really good. That was, that was a good come-in, Steven. Thank you. Sexy. Really good, the way yeah. you dropped that beat right there. Yo, what up, After Buzzers? It's your boy DJ Jesse J here in studio for the Real World Explosion. First Love Fools. I'm joined in studio by my lovely co host. Unfortunately, Neglect could not be here, but I'm joined by Roxy Strong. Hello, glad to be back. Miss Dre Renee. Hello, come after us. And the one, the only, <laughs> Scarlett Johansson who? Yeah. No, my name is Almond Milk. <laughs> but Scarlett Johansson who? Yeah! Oh, oh my god, Nicholas gonna die! <laughs> Miss Jenny from the Real World what up, what Explosion. Up? Thank you for coming in studio. Super excited to have you in here. Yes, raise that um, roof. That's right. The roof needed to be raised. <laughs> yes. And you raised the real world. I'm sorry, what's that? No, stop it. Okay, I know nine you know references that one. I understand. I know you know that <laughs> one. So stop it. We always have to keep her up to date because yeah, she's, she's a little I'm just like, I'm the loser of the group, and sometimes the expressions <laughs> oh, don't say go that. over my head. I know. Yeah, are you the loser? Uh, no, I'm the loser. Loser. <laughs> wow. Loser. That was, loser. You're on point, baby. Okay, but come on. Aren't there some words out there? Now, this is in reference to Jenna. Writing loser with two O's because I mean, she thinks it looks better. No, now, okay, there are some words that yeah. I'm not gonna lie you, that I've I've written out and I'm like this just doesn't even look right, weird but it's the gets correct me spelling. Sometimes weird. Weird. Yeah, I, I get the spelling. The English stuff. language is strange. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, really, you it was know, just sometimes created. Sometimes words are spelled oddly. They are. You know, but that doesn't mean you can just re-spell them. Why not? Oh, Corey want? had yes, a hard time pronouncing. Oyster on the show, and it was Oyster Street. It was like Oster. Oh and I no! I was like, no, it's okay, baby. It's okay. It's Oyster. Oh, Oy. Life can be tough for people sometimes, you know. Sometimes <laughs> it, it is hard. Sometimes it's all I those run. Muscles sometimes I hide. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get into the episode. Thomas uh, last week broke up with Jamie. Dum, oh my dum, god. Dum, and Jamie I'm went so ham. Okay, you guys are having an issue. Dre has an issue I with Thomas. I do have an issue with Thomas. I have an issue with Thomas. Mr. Kate I just Peter. have an issue with Thomas. I just think he's a pothead, and I think like weed has really done something to this man's brain because he's just be sitting I, there you like. You are so far off. You are weed so does far beautiful off. things to the brain. Oh, I what are you talking I am an about? advocate. There we go. Advocate? Yes. All right. But however, however, I do the. Oh, the, I can what, drink what do you this call him? The brain. Yes. Uh, what did you call them? The brain exercise? Oh, no, the... What? What are they called? The brain the exercise? The thought record. Thought record. Mm. Thought record. Thought I, record. I love, please get into detail what this thought record is. Okay, so it's a it's a uh, it's a cognitive behavioral therapy, mm. and that's the that's the sub term of the psychology science. Of but did you the bring this behavior. to the table? Like, were you oh, one yeah, who no. this to the relationship? I'm the what? The one who introduced you, yeah, this to the relationship. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because okay. I'm like I'm like all into psychology. I took classes in college, and um, I was kind of like a real nerd in that area. And I always felt like if you reach out and for education is a key. Like I felt like if you fill out the thought record, which is basically you just write down well, what, what is the it? what. Okay, this is what it is. You you write down you the what column. This is what happened. As if a camera came into the room and and recorded exactly what happened and a, and a group of unbiased audience said this is so he came, walked in the room and then she said this he said that and then she left that's exactly what happened the mm -hmm. facts. and then you come the facts and then right. you come in with the feelings because the thought comes before the feelings mm. so then you put okay I feel anger anger stems from hurt fear or guilt so you then you break it down into what you're finding is the goal of the thought record is to find the automatic thought and that's generally a thought that comes up in your brain um, a lot of times, like a lot of times it could be for, um, a lot of times for women is uh, I'm insecure, like I'm not good enough, right. you know, yeah, or like yeah. people that are, have a high sense of like, they have a huge fear of failure. Usually it's a fear of a failure. That's, there's always like, I will fail or I, that's an automatic thought. And then uh, that's I where you it. need to figure out, that's how you solve your problem. And that's how you stop 
getting so upset about the same thing over and over and over and over and over well, again. Well, and that's great. I want to. We'll get into Tom and Jamie since you brought this up. Let's talk about you and Brian. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you started with this. I wanted to say this. You started with this, and now it, it gets into this fight that you and Brian get into, and you feel he feels you have multiple personalities. Mm, yeah, he does. And <laughs> now maybe this could be an under uh, misunderstanding of the fact that you do these thought records mm -hmm. and you know yourself very well mm -hmm. and so you have no issues acting a certain way because you know yourself is that kind of the justification on your side the just case the justification for what as far as your actions that he thinks are just out of control and just your multiple uh, personalities okay yeah i okay i know where you're going with that um like for example in the episode where i kind of go off the off the wall and um just really rebel against anyone that's trying to control me or put me in a bubble or in a box i don't like when people put me in a box because i don't live inside a box right you know i create my own world so if you try to come in and this and try to create rules on what my world is and i know what my world is then I'm gonna rebel against whatever you're trying to control me doing. So I'm gonna get wild. I'm gonna do the Russian dance and the, and the <laughs> oh bar, God, totally and I'm did. gonna like wave the knife. Don't wave the knife around. Well, watch this, motherfucker. You know yeah, what I'm saying? No, like, totally. I'm gonna. I'm, I don't like it when people. I don't like authority. Don't put Jenny in a here's, corner. Here's what I think about that. <laughs> here's what I think about that. I completely agree with you. Where if I'm doing something that doesn't directly affect somebody else, you know, I'm living in my own world, doing my own thing, doing my own dance. Exactly. I'm not making anybody else do the dance with me. I'm not trying to stab <laughs> anybody else with a knife. I you killing doing, anyone? Right, am I doing anything hurting anyone? to anybody else? No. So if I'm not doing bothering anybody else, then what the fuck do you care what I'm doing in my own personal yeah, life? Yeah, like why so are you freestyling I, outside I affecting anyone? Right. I exactly. Agree with and, that. And, and anything but just spreading smiles and laughs. <laughs> right. But you know, what's wrong with that? I like why are you trying to get in my way? Well, I so where do you agree. take this as as far as what Brian's issue <laughs> oh with God. it is? What? As far as what Brian's issue with it is, what's your version at like okay honey go take the thought record go sit someplace with it and figure it out because i feel like you just don't want to deal with it mm -hmm. is it because you know mm -hmm. i mean you've been with them for how long so clearly you you know right. your partner your whatever. partner's thoughts you know their their little triggers and things like that yeah. so from your standpoint what is it that he why does he want to control you because his um because his uh, th his family, he had an issue with his family, and there was. I'll let him speak because I know he's coming and another time, and I'll let him tell this part. But I can say to shed some light on the issue is that um, it stems from family issues of someone being out of control in the family potentially, and mm -hmm. um, it's a control issue. Generally, when you're raised, and and I am myself, I can speak for myself and say that I have a lot of the same issues, and that's why we've been together and been so understanding of each other's problems for so long. If I had grown up, I grew up around trauma and just like um, abuse and drugs and alcohol and just a lot of craziness. And so is he. So with when you're raised in a chaotic environment, you get addicted to chaos and then you have an obsession with controlling what you were never able to control as a child. So you look for someone who you can establish control and dominance in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or if you were ripped away as a child. It seems like you both are trying to do that, and that seem, there's an issue there, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I don't think it makes for necessarily a bad match. It could make for a perfect fit. It just might be more difficult at times. But I do have to say, even though I've completely agreed to, with you about being you and not letting somebody put you in a box, if somebody told me to go do a thought record, if I was pissed off, it would just escalate it to the next level for me. If somebody yeah. was like, go write your thought record, I would <laughs> yeah. be like, right, <laughs> Thought record, that's Bitch, what'd you say? Yeah. That's a good idea, <laughs> no, it's not. It's I like theory. the. You're a Virgo, I'm that's a Virgo why. That's why. I'm oh, like, me too, girl. Are you serious? Yeah, yes. yes. that's Can't what it is. Because yes. I'm sitting here like that's so. That's I'm doing that idea. now. Me like, too, because my thoughts will go crazy. Because you know how our brains work. It's like. Yeah. All the time. Virgos, I learned this. Virgos are the only people who can do nothing all day and be exhausted because exhausted. they've been thinking too much. Because are we? Because we're. That's because we're governed by the planet of Mercury, which is. The plane of the mind, I think. I yeah. just, it has to be the plane of the mind. You know or when something. somebody, you know when you're doing somebody something and somebody says to you, "Relax," oh. and that like is a trigger. Yes. For me, if somebody was like thought record, I would be like, 
Okay. <laughs> I'm going to lose it. <laughs> to right. me, that's a solution. I'm like, you know what? That's a great idea. I'm going to go. I can do that. That's something I can perfect. All right. Like let's, <laughs> let's talk about the buildup of how this happens. Okay. So we get this scene of you guys. You're at the beach, and you guys are like, lovey-dovey. And <laughs> Well, I guess let's rewind, because we haven't been able to talk to you about it. Brian moves into the house. You had this relationship with Corey. It seems like you kind of understood that Corey was basically Brian 10 years ago, and you're like, okay, we're just going to have a toy. This is going to be fun right mm -hmm. now. So that ends because Brian's in the house now. Right, yeah. Brian moves into the house. What are you, I mean, we saw the jaw drop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you were the first one to react. I was like, well, well, Brian was oh, Brian's sitting there. Thing, yeah, right, that's right. What yeah. went through your mind? I mean, yes. this is the, a man that, I can, could I say, you loved? At, at that moment, like, there was a time mm -hmm. in your life where you said you loved him. Okay. And then you have, here's Corey, who you have these new feelings, mm -hmm. relationship, and now you're on TV, and you get kind of, uh, it's almost like that show, che what is it, Cheaters? Cheaters. Cheaters. In that sense of it. What was that feeling like for you right in that moment? Well. <sighs> and how did you want to handle it after it? I, at that moment, I was very confused because... Um, just a week before that, it was my birthday, or a couple weeks, mm -hmm. I can't, I don't know how long. It was oh, like, that's right. Every day that. was forever. <laughs> um, it was like, I'm on my birthday, he sent me flowers and chocolates, which was not shown. Oh, they and didn't show that. No, and I, and I wish they would have, because it was like a really sweet gesture, but, um, you know, and, but it did, but when he, it would like, it goes along with when he called and he was like, it's, it's good to hear your voice, because he started like to regret, I think, in the beginning when, we were because okay. Let me let me just let me tell the story because mm -hmm. yeah, he point. came to California. Or we broke up a year ago. Okay, we mm -hmm. broke up a year ago, more than a year ago, and then um, I had actually applied to be on the Real World when I was living in Kansas City, mm -hmm. and I moved to California January twenty eighth of two thousand and thirteen. Thirteen a year, yeah. So about a year ago, and um, we broke up shortly after I got here. Like I would say about a year ago, and um, and then I got on the show. And then right before I got on the show, I seen him and I was, we kind of like rekindled and kind of came back together, I think, because we, I mean, we had sex and it was like a passionate, like a love thing. And it was like, he said that he knew that I was the one. Mm -hmm. But then when he went back to Kansas City, he had had sex and went on a date with that girl that he was saying right. that he was seeing. Right. And I was like, what the fuck? It's like, are you still seeing that girl? That's all I want to know because... Yeah. You know, it's like, are you with me or are you not? Like, what's up? I need to know. So um, when he said he was still talking to that girl, I'm like, all right, rebound time, which right. I went Hi, to Corey. Corey. Yeah. yeah exactly. And the, the the emotions, there was like a slight time where there was emotions involved with Corey, but I feel like it was a transfer. Was. I, that yeah. was. I feel like there was a transfer of emotion from Brian to Corey because it was a rebound For situation. Sure. If Brian had not been seeing somebody else, do you think you wouldn't have slept with Corey? Hell no. No? Absolutely not. Okay. So that was the trigger for you? That was, if Brian had told me that he was still loyal to me and not seeing anybody, hell no, I would not have had sex mm -hmm. with anybody. Okay. No way. So where did this come from where Brian says to you, uh, you know, well, I'm just trying to test my waters out with her because, you know, I want to see, we, we had our time and now I want to see, you know, if I can get those feelings with this girl. What? When when you were talking to him on the Sorry. phone, when you were talking to him on the phone, he basically kind of said to you, you know, I'm talking to this girl, mm -hmm. and I want to see, you know, maybe this could lead somewhere. You know, I know what my feelings with you are, but we're not together now. Mm -hmm. You're doing you, and I'm doing me. What was that feeling like for him to say that with Ooh. this other girl? Do you think it, he was telling the truth, or do you think it was just out of this anger because mm -hmm. he knew that you were with Cor like hooking up with Corey? I'd say eighty percent because he knew that I was looking up with Corey 20% of how he felt because um, you can lose yourself in a rebound slightly. Mm. And with mm -hmm. him, with that girl, she was obviously, she was a rebound because Brian had a hard time moving on physically. To me, I can have emotionless sex. That's easy for me. I don't think you have to have an emo, like Tom, right. Tom and I are opposites of that. I think you can like find a really fucking hot dude at the yeah. club, bring him home, bang him out, and it feels great. Like you don't have to, <laughs> love your honesty you know what I'm saying? But there's a difference when it's emotionally connected and he has been 
one of the only, if not the only person I've had emotional oh, connection with, with, the se with sex. And him, the sit, feels the same way. I think that Jesse, Dre, and Nicola, and I all kind of discussed how we think that a lot of the times when Brian does the things he does, it's to make you jealous. Absolutely. Um, would you oh, say yeah. that that is definitely... We just, we are... We 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 love each other and hate each other so much, yes, you know? You, guys do. you only say I hate you to the people that you really love. But are you ever doing things just to make him jealous too? Oh yeah, I do that too. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, but I don't I the what I've noticed in our relationship and I don't know if it's necessarily 100% because I'm still trying to find out. I'm still trying to connect with my emotions because of things that I've been through in the past as a child I have a hard time connecting with. I have a huge wall and I have a hard time opening up with people. I can see that because he seems really emotional and you like when you're having he that conversation my in the bed yeah. you're like okay yeah, he's just like sitting there, like wanting you to say something, and yeah. you're just kind of like shut down. He's your puppy down. dog. Like, like he, like, well, yeah. like for what I lack, he gives, and, and vice versa. We're like yin and yang, and so when I am, I am, I have a hard time connecting to emotions and feeling emotional, and he feels emotional uh, sometimes too much. So it's like it, it counters so out it like it's out. the yeah. opposite of usually eighty twenty. It's the eighty twenty principle. Like Definitely role. different. Which is so. Interesting. Do you feel like a lot of your issues at first before going on the real world stemmed from the fact of that? Like, he wanted <laughs> this emotion, emotion, emotion from you, and you kind of were like, do you get scared from it? Is it like a, a scared yeah. thing where you push him away, uh -huh. and he takes that as, oh, she doesn't love me anymore? Because he made an interesting yeah. comment tonight where he says, I want to be the trophy. I yes. want to be... He wants uh, to win the prize. I want to be, yeah, yeah. I want to win the prize. It's like, and how long, I mean, we're still worried about this? And it seemed like you know, that's yeah. how I feel. Yeah. Like I get that's where my argument of psych. That's the thought that rationalized. My it seemed like there's something deeper going on with him because he's always like referencing his family too. Like he mm -hmm. was very concerned about the way he looked and the things that you said and how his family was gonna take it. So I was like, this guy like has a lot of stuff going on. Was he scared about being on TV? I th I think he has an issue with um, judgment. Yes, of absolutely. Public yeah. and and people in general because he's always worried about how my behavior is going to affect his image and that's when I was always like I have my own image you have your own image and it's separate yeah. and I was really down for yeah. that you know what I mean and like I felt I did not like the idea of I would be I didn't I would never be held responsible for an opinion made about him by someone unrelated I would never have responsibility for that but I feel like he tries to put the responsibility on me sometimes and mm -hmm. say you're making me look like if you're not like when we were at the club or at the bar playland he was like if I'm not there for you to be bumping and grinding what does it what he doesn't understand is that if you weren't there I wouldn't be bumping and grinding right, right, right I right. would be and you see throughout this show I'm dancing by, by myself yourself. all <laughs> the time <laughs> I, that's what I like with to the do floor. Girl, with the floor with the floor you'd be with doing that girl. those splits that girl yeah yeah it was your birthday well yeah it was my yeah oh yeah no I'd get crazy definitely for sure yes, for sure and was I not the one who said I've been there with, yes, you with my vagina yeah on the floor yeah yeah I don't know I'm sorry y'all I love both y'all but Jeff, hey, I had it. underwear on. It was not Kissing the pussy floor. to the floor. Right. No, that's <laughs> gross. Come on. I'm just that's saying. Like going, that's like going commando on a bus. That's gross. <laughs> Stop judging me. On everyone, a, in okay? a dress. Oh, my God. I love it. Sorry. Okay, but so you brought up the perfect point. You, you, you talked about, you know, you are you, who you are. He is who he is. And that's the way it should be. So he, he's trying to calm you down in the club. You're outside turning up. You and all turn this. It, it, it's my uh, own party, bitch. You want to join? Was. Come on, let's go. And then you get in his face and you say, this <laughs> is a one yeah. package deal. Yeah. Yeah. And package if deal, you don't bro, bro. like it, bye. <laughs> she did this like a little fist pump. <laughs> like, it's like, then fuck off. That's what that was. It was like a, like an Italian thing, I guess. Yeah. I'm not oh any a bit Italian, but I don't know. I just, well, you that's what I think of. And stuff, you know, yeah, you know yeah. like. Come on, like <laughs> I'm probably looking like such a dumbass right now. I have no idea. No, you're fine. That's no, why no, I went awesome. with the feeling and cough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, where does I mean yours when you <laughs> you talking to him you. comes off fun and just kinda like, Oh, we can't talk right now. Just go breathe oh and then God. come back. Oh, I have no patience. Where he says or time or, or attention span. <laughs> Fuck no. Is that, can, am I supposed to I'm sorry if I'm not supposed to cut. No, no. Oh, just no, give girl, me the red fuck flag. This shit, yeah. all fuck this shit ass. Yeah. All right, cool. We are explicit here. <laughs> yes, um, yes okay. bitch. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> he seems to have this have bag of comebacks that he just selectively uses with you. Yeah. About him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking other girls, and then what do we get tonight? Yeah, everyone I, gets a ride. Oh, yeah, everyone's that, everyone, If anybody ever said that to me, oh I would have. That's when I would have 
the hot the, oil on their face. Like, oh, yeah. bring Ashley back in the house bring to do it for you. Yeah. I mean, or the night. I'm like, mm-hmm. if anything makes him look bad, it's that. Saying yeah. that to you. That's yeah. what's going to make he him look bad. He did try to quickly amend it. Oh, my He's God. Like, it gets wait, so much worse, you guys. You get so much worse. Really? See, I say things I don't mean sometimes, too, because you're, you know, in the heat of the moment. And when you've been with somebody that long, and you you guys clearly love each other. I mean, you can see that to me on the screen, but you just say awful things to people. Yeah. It's just like you just mm-hmm. test the limits. You know what I mean? It's thought just, record. Thought record. Exactly. <laughs> it's time for you to go fill out a thought record tonight. because you're not making sense. I'm or, making one. Yeah. Tonight. He's probably like, God damn, these thought records. He's I don't work. even think he's ever filled out an entire thought record. He just starts one sentence. But do you have like literal printouts of these? Or do oh, yeah. You, oh. Of course you, you do. Of course I, I come prepare, <laughs> Next time you come in, will you bring us all I got that shit on lock. I, I got it in my backpack. No, seriously, next time you come in, bring them, and after the show, we'll write, this is what happened on the show. <laughs> this is how we felt about it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's going to be an after buzz requirement. And yeah. then you circle the hot thought, the hot emotion, <laughs> then you make the connection. Oh, and my you God. Put down Obviously. The, doing it. There's a whole process here. That's to contradict the hot thought. That's it. Nicholas is Support be like, the hot thought, no. and then you <laughs> count them up. Oh, yeah, it's a process. Who dealt with your <laughs> nonchalantness better, Brian or Corey? Because we see two issues. Corey, I want to say this. Corey flipped out, and it, it became this man issue that you were dancing with this female. Yes. So and that was so he weird. came in so to weird. tell you that I have the pants in the relationship, and we told him. What like, was what that moment doing? like for you? Were you just looking at him like, "What the hell is wrong with you?" Yeah, like motherfucker, what you said? <laughs> <laughs> Do you yeah. have Sorry. a penis between your legs because you acting like a bitch? You like that was for a real. woman. I'm not sure if you saw that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, that was really weird because, um, <laughs> for a lot of reasons, uh, <laughs> I've just not like. My th- my neck is too thick for any leash to fit it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like you're not gonna you're not gonna put a leash on this shit. And I just I think it's funny. I I personally get a little bit of a kick at it a kick out of it when people think that they can come up and um, you know try to put a leash on it try or control me. You, you know, tame me down. Mm-hmm. I think I get a kick out of it. The only person I don't get a kick out of it is Brian. Oh. I kick a little too hard when he does that. You know what I mean? But like I just think it's funny when people like try to come up to me try to come up to me and just say some crazy ass shit like well, Corey knew you for like three days and he's like you're dancing with another woman you're like yeah yes you're like, I'm sorry it's Corey right <laughs> yeah <Bye." laughs> you know you know I nice can, to meet you <laughs> I can low-key see where Brian comes from with certain things like especially obviously there's a backstory to him and there's a reason why he does what he does but do you ever knowing that and now that I know you're a Virgo I'm gonna put a little responsibility on you because I know who we are as Virgos. Oh my god I know. Do you ever sit him down yeah you say the thought record and all this like or is it just you guys have been dating so long that's like I'm not explaining this to you anymore. But you oh, should yeah. know this. Is that was like you've sat him down and explained oh my Look, god you cannot sit here and tell me to my face as your girlfriend as a woman mm-hmm. oh you got everyone riding it because Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I, have, like, I mean, okay, so there's been times in the past where I have actually taken notes in our conversation because our arguments would go for at notes. least we an hour. Which she took notes tonight. At on. least I'm taking notes. I did take notes. Yes. And um, I was taking notes, like, uh, like there's some times where I felt like you would repeat the same sentence over mm. and over and over again, maybe say it in different ways, but it was same still method. the same message. So I would start, I would, like, when I hear a recurring theme, I'm like, okay. I love this. Hashtag I, this that is shit. Such a okay, here you go. Thing to do. do you remember Just saying that five minutes away. ago? Ah. Okay, we don't need to go over that again. <laughs> so if because we already made, we already this, talked about that. If he was listening right now, though, <laughs> oh, really? would he be like, "I've never heard you say that," or would he? No, be like, oh, he heard would you say definitely, all this. yeah. Okay. What deny it? So you guys just no. Know. He would say he would admit to it. I mean, Seems he knows. Like you're round and round in the same. He knows his problems. All the freaking time. Yeah, he's not in a lot of denial. Oh. He's very aware, like myself. We're both very aware of our problems. We just have a hard time moving past, past them. Moving past them. Yeah. And like I, like he doesn't, some t- there's some things that are hard to see eye and eye, but like I swear to God, this experience in the real world like has been so enlightening and so just, like watching ourselves on this TV, like that is the craziest part. Things. Like you watch yourself and you see, wow, I really act like that. Like when I watched me doing the Russian dance, I was like, <laughs> and then when I was getting it, getting down in the streets, I was like, that's you. Like I was like, I did not know. Wow, I mean, it's different. It's, it, well, it's different seeing yourself do stuff. You yeah. know? Right. I don't oh regret. God. I'm so proud of myself. But I'm just saying, it just brings a different light. Like I can kind of see where he's coming from. And you like, I got some. Like a little okay. bit, maybe. You know, and you like, to admit that you're like looking down and you say it too. I'm like, I mean, I was 
drunk, obviously, and I'm like, ah, you remind me of my father. Like, I was just so <laughs> wasted, you know? I was just like, Jenny, I'm having a good time. Shut Don't give a shit. You want to control me? Watch this, you know? Like, yeah. like whatever. We're just, just go wilding out. I wild out. And so yes. watching that, you Did I mess up my hair? No, girl, you good. Okay. You got it. So wa watching it back, <laughs> you sit there and you've learned from it. What have you learned? What, how, how has that helped your relationship with people? Or especially Brian. I'm gonna be so raw right now, and I don't do mean it. to change That's the. I don't do, mean yeah. to change the tone or anything. Girl, we'll bring it right yeah, back. Yeah, we can always bring it back. I got. I I started developing um, uh, panic disorders. What the doctor said, and it was about halfway through Brian and uh, Brian and I's relationship. Brian and me, Brian and I. What I can't remember the. You mean Brian when you were on I. the show? Brian and I's. Uh, yeah. No, no. Wait. What did I just say? That you started developing like these panic. panicking things while you're on the oh, show. Oh no no no! Or? This was like two and a half years ago. Okay. And we celebrated our five year anniversary. Oh my God, whatever on the time. show. Yeah. So, we um, we, like halfway through our relationship, we were getting the fights were getting so bad that I went to the doctor because I was I was working in sales at the bank and I was feeling um, like the pressure of the sales and then like having flashbacks of fights that we would have and it would just get so traumatic that I would start to feel numb in my fingers and in my mouth mm. and I could and I would have a hard time catching my breath and breathing and I, I, I like when I started developing this I found that it ran through my family oh. and I went to the doctor and they were like you have uh, panic disorder so then they prescribed me these antidepressants and I was taking these for like a couple years I was taking them on the show too and I noticed on the show I see myself kind of dead in the eyes and I I, and I actually would know I'm like I'm, I'm very non-emotional there. I'm just talking I'm not feeling at that moment I'm just talking and I can see it because I know myself mm -hmm. and that's a whole nother level of awareness to be to be aware that you are talking but not feeling at that moment and yeah. that's from taking antidepressants Lexapro. I swear to God yes I've been there yeah so uh, you know what I did <laughs> I decided to do telling you. after okay. I got off the show after I got after I finished the season and about a month ago, as of about a month ago, I decided to get off my antidepressants, and I've been off ever since. Was that then. scary for you? It was very, it was very scary. But I've noticed, um, like, I, what I actually did is I did it like with the science. I didn't just quit. Yeah, you, I don't recommend should. anyone, anyone listening, yeah. do not get off no, your antidepressants you overnight. It's not a good idea. You have. I actually, I took twenty five percent off the pill. I shaved twenty five percent off. I did that for a week. Then I shaved off fifty. Then I cut it in half, and then I did that for a couple weeks. And then I did a twenty five percent of it for a week, and then I cut off. It took me a month. So I've been mm. off ever since then, and I can't, I can't, I can't even explain to you. Sometimes I'll find myself crying. Sometimes I'll find myself mm -hmm. feeling like I've never, I'm like, wow. And I'm starting to question what I want to even do with my life now. Mm -hmm. You know what it I mean? Sounds, I'm yeah. about here being an actress, and I'm, I'm learning about so many things about myself, and I don't want to head too far into some direction. And because the decisions I make now, I know will affect me for the rest of my life. And I just want to make sure that I can feel those moments so I make the right decision. Because mm. you feel like you weren't exactly feeling. I wasn't feeling so much. I was so, uh, man, I could see myself on the show just being like so emotionless like towards going through the Corey motions. and Brian. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going through the motions, you know, and I'm like, I'm a pimp, I don't give a shit. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of humor in it yeah. and I can make but humor out of it, know, but I know the real. Yeah. yeah. So do you feel like if you had decided to um, wean off of them before the show, your experience on The Real World would have been different? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, right? I would have had to have been, I couldn't have weaned myself off on the show, uh, on the show, because that would have been, yeah, too much. been too much. That would have been, I would have probably done some stupid shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, being like, I've actually, in that situation. The last oh month, God. I've spent a lot of time, alone time. The last month, a lot of right, alone time. It, doing that, you have to figure yourself out inside in you order to take yourself off of that. I mean, I've literally been through the Taking same Take a lot exact. of walks and watch a lot of porn. You know what I'm saying? Just <laughs> a lot of alone time. Stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying, though? I, I yes, do, we do, we do. And I had to, you know, I have to lighten the situation because I don't want to get too dark and deep. Yeah, but girl. No, but it's important for it's us the to truth. know where you're coming from. You know, we're watching a show and we always talk about how we can only see who you are on the exactly. show until we get you in studio and we can figure out what's actually going what's on. Actually going yeah. on. So yeah. it's important for fans to know, like, and for people That's like us to know. That's a great backstory, you know? Yeah. Yes, Thanks. girl. All right. <laughs> yes, girl. Now I need <laughs> to, <laughs> to know some tea because let's get into this other relationship, Thomas and Jane. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. scared to open my mouth right now because I think Dre is gonna like pounce on I me am if I done with say Tom. anything good about Tom. If you say anything good about him, oh, this okay. What? That this is an open form discussion. I'm sorry, I don't like him. <laughs> Come down, Mr. Cake Eater. I want my cake. I want to eat it too. I'm sorry, you don't break up with somebody it's, it's a and then expression. go say, "Whoa, let me. What's going on?" No. 
Well, you know, uh, what we've noticed is that all the guys in this house seem to have this issue where they can do what yes. oh, yeah. they want. Every male in this house has ego okay. issues. In, in all fairness, when Tom tonight says, I want everyone She's to leave except stand. for the original six, I understand where he's coming That's from. That's fine. All these guys keep talking about, you know what, it's not that we don't want you guys here, but... This is not what we expected. This is our lives at home. We want a different I experience. I agree. And except for Jay, who says, all this did was take our dreams <laughs> and shot them down. down. <laughs> I was not like shit. I know. Jenna's like, I could see that. I could see that. I know. I'm like, you are way more easy to deal than I am. She's very agreeable. Yes, I would have just like pounced on him. You just crushed but, everything. Anyway, here's the thing. I think that Tom was. I'm so sorry. Was Tom 21 years old? Should I old? go? <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> awkward. Wait, is Tom 21? That, he's young. No, he's right? 12. Oh, did you not he's 20. Him? He's 21. He's 21 years old, and Kid is out spoiled. of it. He's just out of it, a little spoiled. I don't blame him because I feel like the way he's he was, the way he was bit, raised yeah. and all these things, he doesn't know how to make decisions for himself. He's confused. He's like, do I want this? Do I want this, like, bomb-ass plug Asian chick, or do I want... Plug? Like, what? She's got her plugs. Oh, her plugs. <laughs> She's like, okay, whoa. I thought yeah. you called her plump, and I was like, girl, no, she, she, no, I know she, she did the dress thing Asian last week. I thought was like something new I had no, like, about. She got the plugs Where in her ears. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> and thank you, Dre, for understanding. I got it, girl. Or do I want I to go it. back to the girl that I was with for a long time, who apparently wasn't such a virgin when I thought I took Ooh, her virginity? I can't believe she did that. that. Was Haley, bad. girl. I, mean, I feel like he's confused, and he's dumb, and I think that saying that he's being malicious would be giving Tom too much credit. I don't think he's being malicious. I think he literally has no idea what he's doing. He's like, uh, uh, uh. That's an excuse. And that is, you're 21 years you old. 10%. You can drive a car. You, you can Take vote. It. You can be in the military and do all this kind of stuff. No, come on. That's a damn it's excuse. Common sense. Two women are fighting and you're going back and forth emotionally. How do you not know that that's not okay? No, but like, what do you expect him to do? Like, pick one, right? That's yes. what you want him to do. Or just don't date anybody. Yeah, right. or just say, this is an awkward situation. Let's figure it out. And what is like, the figuring it out? Picking one, right? He needs or to decide what he wants. Or not dating anyone. Yeah. I, I agree with that, but I don't think he's sitting there thinking, like, let me try to ruin both of these women's lives. No. Okay, you well, know? I don't he's think probably... Corey's sitting there talking about, yeah, I'm going to ruin, uh, what's her name, Lauren's yeah. life. I'm going to ruin yeah. Jenny's Corey. life. Corey. Corey's on a different level. level. Corey's more like, I know what I'm doing, and it might be messed up, but I'm going to do it anyway. Tom, to me, Girl. never that thought doesn't cross his mind. He's just like, Really? Because uh, Haley uh. said uh, he got sprinkles back at home. Exactly. Because, Did you not hear about his sprinkles? He's so self you just want to stick up for this kid. I don't know why. He's a dude. <laughs> Just he's a dude, he's a dude he with a penis. A dick between his legs. Right. Okay? Like, he's a, he's a young think, man, yeah. and he has some growing up to do. And Definitely. He's, he, I think he knows that. Mm, I think he. He he loves love like Jamie does, mm. and there's a there was like a convenience factor there when they yes. first moved in because Jamie was not attracted to him when she first came in. She told me that too. She really? was like, I was like, oh, I, see, I see a little bit of spark like. between you and Tom, and she's like, no. <laughs> I don't think he's hot at all. Did you? And I was have, like, okay. okay. Did you have a conversation with Tom ever? Just the two of you sitting down. Like, were, was there ever any alone? Me and Tom, time? yeah. Any intimate moments? Oh my gosh, him and I argued so much. Really? Like, yeah, we would we get into it so that. bad because he's like, he's kind of like a. Um, do do do. He, no, he's like a nerd <laughs> like me, like like a he doing? scholarly nerd type person. Uh. So we would get into it about. We would debate. We get into debates mm -hmm. about like fact, factual stuff, like oh, like, okay. like what okay. level of testosterone. Like I would tell him, he would try to explain to me like when the best time to have sex, and I was like, no, according to the science of sex appeal, the best time to have sex is at night because the women's oxytocin levels higher and her body's more relaxed and is more able to conceive and <coughs> the body's more able to get an orgasm. And but he's like, uh, no, but the testosterone is highest in the morning. I'm like, I know, it's 7 a.m. to be as a matter of fact, but you know, we go back, back and, and forth, forth like, like forever. That. And it was just like I wish they would have showed some of that. They they might. Who knows? <laughs> well, so how did you feel about Maybe on Jamie? The shit show, hopefully. How do you feel about Jamie kind of wanting this to have a title so quickly? What was your thoughts on that? That is a um, that's a control issue. Yeah. You know, you want to, um, but I don't necessarily say it's an, actually, I think that, I mean, it's a control issue, but it's not necessarily an issue, like a bad issue. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that it's important for com communication is key to any relationship, and she needs to know, as a woman, 
wh what if he's going to, if she can be safe in that environment. Well, what's the difference between okay. a boyfriend and girlfriend and a relationship? That, like, in that a relationship, relationship is just Tom, anything. That's what he said. You, so. I have a relationship with y'all right now. Right. I'm not team this Tom is a relationship. over Jamie. You're I'm just, team Tom. I'm not, I just don't hate him like you hate him. <laughs> Does that make me team Tom? Yes. I mean, I just think when he's sitting there, that's why I'm saying this boy is so confused. I want to be in a relationship, but not your boyfriend. I've been Jamie and I had a Tom. That's what my issue is. Uh, I've, I've had you would? I've had a Tom. Oh, okay. And you've been Jamie? I've been Jamie. See, it's it's so funny. Everybody brings their own baggage to, so you know, to either on the show or watch the show. So mm -hmm. that's how we like, make our opinions. But that's the point. That's of why, course. That's, that's the why point I That's why I wa you watch it again. I'm like, the fucking asshole. But how'd you guys <laughs> feel about, I mean, you were there. How'd you feel about this situation when Jamie talks to Hannah on the phone and then tells <laughs> that, her that Tom broke Hannah. up and then Tom gets on the phone. Oh, this was go Hannah, because that is a friend that thing is, to do. She's a fun friend. She's the best friend that ever grown I was pissed that Tom. <laughs> I will say I was pissed that Tom called Hannah a bitch. Yes. Don't call my best friend Don't a you bitch. Because if I was Jamie, I would freak out. You broke up with me. Don't get on the phone talking to my friend. Bye, Felicia. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Okay. And Bye -bye. then when she doesn't want to talk to you, you cross the room and scream, your friend Hannah's a bitch. Exactly. Like, don't, yeah. don't say that. About I love when she'd scream man-child. That was my favorite. Man and then And then you He's go into yes. Haley's room and lay in the bed yeah, And tell her that he loved her. That did happen. That, that happened. During. Come on. Go ahead. What do you got for that one? What do you got? I, that that all I can say was that did happen. You know, in, in terms of my <laughs> thought record, that is something that happened. How do you feel about that? Is that a hot it. emotion? I so what emotion is a text? Circle it, hot, <laughs> connected you, to that. Yeah, yeah, you you can wipe that over here. I'm going to smash yeah. it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll throw that that way, and then you can grab yes. that thought record all you want. We'll just pass it around. <laughs> so Tom then calls his dad, and his dad gives him, like, the most neutral, Neutral, like, vague <laughs> advice ever. I loved it. Which is great it advice. It was fabulous. But it was such hippie it advice. It was so Tom's just father, enjoy though. Like, it, it, Tom's it, father. it is a, such a reflection of his <laughs> yeah, Tom. Absolutely. Like, it really is. where Tom comes from, he's like, do what makes you, you happy. Just yeah. enjoy in the people. And enjoy in the future. Three months isn't three months. Now, now is, is the time. Like, I, I love you. He goes, cause... why do you have to decide <laughs> now? Yeah. Just enjoy people. Like, You're in a house. Just put it in a so not not a legitimate way to live life in enjoy my opinion. Enjoy it. Wrap it up. <laughs> yes. Now, and see. And just have fun with it. No. Last as long as you can. Because if you don't, then <laughs> she could be gone. Yeah. She could be gone. Exactly. You have to find a new one. Your and numbers are going to raise. I really think he took it like that because he then did. all of a sudden he goes into the room and he's like, I want to be in a relationship. No, as if Gandhi came and spoke to him. Yes. Like, no, no, no. Yes. I okay. know. Yes. Like Gandhi, it was his dad is Gandhi. He was like, <laughs> Team Gandhi. Yeah. Me. Like he has this epiphany, like as if his dad said the most inspirational thing he'd ever heard. Now I know what to do with my life. Exactly. Like, yeah. like now he can just go date Jamie right now. Yeah. He doesn't need to worry about funny. after the show. He doesn't have to worry about three months from no. now. And Whatever happens, happens. He came back to me and said, you know what? I want to date you because I actually decided the future doesn't matter. It, so I'm going to I would be like, excuse me? I'm sorry. The future is exactly what matters. That's what a relationship's for. I don't want to be in a relationship Well, you can tell you. he pauses when he goes, the future doesn't matter. Yeah, like he yeah. pauses. He's, he's like, he's like, I would just have fun that. and have sex with you right now. Yeah, and I'm totally fine with that. Yeah, he's thinking. I already added a number to my list. And she Shit. like made a heart with her face. He's like, oh. I was like <laughs> so he I doesn't know. want to disrespect Haley, and then he goes to Haley and he says, "What do you want out of being here?" Fair question. I don't trust women because of you. And then I we find out that he, that she lied to him and said that she was a virgin when they had sex. I thought she was a little cookie. Guess not. Mm -hmm. What's a little cookie? You know, nice and sweet cookie. That's just a little cookie. So a little pop tart. Right? Uh -huh. Sugar cookie. Yes. Um, and then looked her in the yes. face and said, The way I have to get over you is by just not caring. Don't care. Don't, don't care. care. Long hair, don't care. Uh, you know it. Kind yeah. of harsh. Really, that was harsh. really harsh. But I'm sorry, what she did is messed up. That's that's like life changing. I agree. If especially if they had multiple conversations about it, which we don't know if they did, and he was like, Listen, it's really important to me that I lose my and virginity you know to did. a virgin, which I'm sure he's at and she was like, I am one. Because if I found I think first, it's wrong. Woo. I think it's wrong for yeah. anyone to know a fact and to um lie. It, well, that, yes. Uh, but I'm saying after the fact, after it's all been said and done, after she lost her virginity to somebody else and she lied to Tom, that was obviously years and years, like years ago. And I think that, and, and I, it comes from probably, I've 
been in that situation. If somebody holding a grudge with me for so long, it's kind of like you kind of get pissed after a while because Brian does that with me sometimes. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, listen, you need to just get the fuck over it. Mm-hmm. Or, or just or like, not. or or decide that you don't want to be my friend. Right. And you don't want to have me in right. your life. I agree. You right. It's like you, me or you, it, don't. you say it once and you're sp- and you're communicating. You say it twice. Maybe they didn't hear you the first time. You say it three times. Then you're being manipulative. Mm. Then you're trying to make the person feel bad forever. You're trying to instill guilt in that person so you establish power over that person because you feel like and so that you he feels had good some... about himself. Yeah, like right. I'm gonna be with Jamie, but yes. this is why because you did this. To I'm me. gonna go make you feel bad. Now I'm gonna go. Yeah, but he does yeah. say good tonight. She says you work. never psychology. I, I think that's a really interesting point, and I do agree. But tonight he does say. And she says, you never said this to me before. I think it's a very interesting time. If this I happened don't. years ago, I think it's very interesting that this is the first time he's ever on said TV? to her. Really? Yeah, on TV. Oh, yes, you're right. You know that? Yes. That was kind of strange. He did. Why did you never say Why this Why did to you me? never bring this up? Yeah, he's been, oh, wow. Yeah, this he's this been harboring that for shit for a long time. He right. said pride, and that's why he got the sprinkles. And what are the sp- the puppy dogs? Ooh. Puppy dogs. Yeah. Because okay. if he wasn't expressing that in his relationship, he was expressing it elsewhere. Okay. Yeah. And, and preach at the and fucking I, cupcake shop. Because he came into the <laughs> show talking sprinkles. about he's he's only had sex with what? How many? Three. Three women. And I think that was before Jamie actually. She's not about so that. She, four. she, she is four. Yeah, five. that would be I, if if that's the case. But yeah, I don't. Tom, I don't believe be. that's the case. I think Tom. I think somebody have mixed up on his here. look. I think mm-hmm. Tom is like I mean, Zach from but San Tom, Diego. But Tom is a, such a huge issue with the number, right? Yes. Yeah. So yes. wouldn't it make? Wouldn't it, if, when someone has a huge overly obsessive issue with something, obviously. There's ties to There's it. There's t- yeah, and so I think that like the f- there. Okay, look at the connection between the fact that he was so upset and he's harbored it for years that the girl he lost his virginity wasn't in fact a virgin, right. uh. and then he goes and haunts every girl about your number is too high. <laughs> Because yeah. I wanted to keep my one number, you know, because like <laughs> oh I wanted to lose my virginity to a virgin. Like obviously the number maybe has some family issues with like people Always being there. just o- sexually over overly sexually active. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there definitely is something there because it's absolutely something going on. But that's why Hawk. people aren't born with those that's opinions. Why I, okay. That's why I believe you know? he actually has only had sex with a few oh, people. Bye, Felicia. No, I don't think that he slept with everybody like you do. He is com- okay. You're right. It could be the, f- the fact. Agree. I just feel like what he's showing us. He's showing us that he likes his cake and to eat it too. And he's I know tons of dudes in all fairness, who want their girls to have a low number count. But they want to. But be like, they Boop. their number count doesn't even matter. That's true. That's true. In all fairness, I like to have my cake and eat it too as well. I think we all like to have. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's cake. So you can't really. I actually really don't understand. I, 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 I can explain. I can explain. Please. You can't. Uh, okay. You, I don't understand you can that have saying. Your cake and then eat it, but you can't physically have your cake and have eaten your cake too. You know what I mean? Oh. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Yeah, you, you know can't actually, have your cake I if don't you eat it. That. You know yeah, what I, mean? I don't that. understand I've never really thought about it. No, it's not it cake and ate it No, 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 listen though. Too. It's, what it means, I know, I think that's flawed too, but you cannot have your cake and eat it because if you have it and eat it, you don't have it. You know what I mean? That's what it's supposed to say. But what if you have a slice, then you still have a whole stop, cake? Stop, stop. We're getting to you. All right, but we got to move on because we got to wrap it up yes. soon. So Corey and uh, what's her name? Oh, God. Lauren. 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 You can't even remember. I'm going to give her some doubt because Jenny has said that she's a sweet girl. So. I like her. She's I like the way she talks. Yeah. I think that... The mm. whining is just oh, wicked. Corey. Sorry. Sorry, Lauren. Oh, yeah, we even talked right. about the end of the episode. With she's that. confused right. as she's eating her pizza in the shower, and they go on a cute little date night. She's confused about her emotions towards Corey. She doesn't know if she wants to get invested her again. Her mom told her not to. But she wants to, and she doesn't know, and this is obviously a confusing situation. Yeah, I say the least. And, right. <laughs> so they end up having sex. We don't know if this is again or if this is the first time or whatever. Has to be again. Um, well, you weren't you standing there when they were having sex in the shower when we saw that? Were they the having shower? sex or were they? Oh, it was like, what you like, saw was literally all that. I wasn't. I was there. I you went, went in the and bathroom, <laughs> and then when I came out, they. I just saw them in the shower. And I just walked by, and I just went on about my business. Like, I don't even but know how long they were in there. if they oh, were okay. having sex? No, no. no. Well, I don't mean right then. I, mean, <laughs> I don't okay. care. <laughs> I don't mean right then. I mean, I after you find out that the girl's preggered, you didn't say... Oh. No, but, I mean, at that Girl, point, she probably like... I didn't even know. Like, I didn't even know that, like, you know... The pregnancy testing? Yeah, I was, I was unaware for a long time. Oh. Mm. Interesting. 
Yeah. Well, so yeah, so we see Jenna wants to go to Walgreens by herself. She woke up uh, with nauseous. You just and called her Jenna. She f- Jenna? No, okay. yeah, we're talking about Lauren. Lauren. Oh, I'm sorry. Lauren, Jenna, yeah. Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Both whiny and attached. I'm just exactly. Kidding. Okay, Lauren okay. wants to go to Walgreens by herself. She woke up nauseous and she feels like she's getting fat and she goes and takes a pregnancy test and she finds out that it she gonna, might be pregnant. She might she be. Might be because we it, know that those it's tests. Positive, yes, is what and she I mean, she out. bought the cheap brand, so who knew? I'm just saying she did. There's like a better <laughs> okay, brand. Okay, in all fairness, have you ever bought a pregnancy test? Because they're like 50 bucks. They're not no, really no, that they're, expensive, but they're expensive. They're, they're expensive. expensive. They're yeah, expensive. I've taken them. They're expensive. Yeah, 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 they're 50 expensive bucks ones. is pretty expensive. No, they're not expensive. really 50, but they're like 20 bucks if you want a pack of a couple I've never or whatever. They're expensive. Yeah. And not as expensive as Plan B is, though. And definitely not as expensive as an abortion. I'm not saying she gets one, just saying if she was. True that. True that. Thought record. Yeah. Yeah. Thought record. There we go. Take we got the breakdown. That, 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 that. The full situation. <laughs> and then what do we get right after they, they we find out she's pregnant? We get the teen mom clip. Oh, yeah. I know. Then, 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 the, then the baby comes out. The, the test is positive. <laughs> And then the ba- on the next team, team mom. Yes. On the next team mom, <laughs> Wednesday night or whatever it is, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, now, so do we nice. think it's possible that she is pregnant from another guy? Do we think oh. it's possible I that. she's pregnant I thought from that. Corey? You know, I feel bad that this is happening to this poor girl on national television, <laughs> but <laughs> in my ratchet TV fandom world, Lord, please let it be another man's baby yeah. because <laughs> that is just so much tea and I will just not be able to control myself next week. <laughs> oh my Watch. God. I just love Gossip and tea on these shows. Having sex with somebody else is different than having sex with somebody else and not wrapping it up, and then having sex with Corey and not wrapping it up. Like having someone's baby. Yeah, I mean, if you don't know somebody, you really should. I just felt bad because you Mm -hmm. could see how this was really affecting her. Some wee I do feel bad. Yeah, she didn't want to talk on camera. She was whispering into the poor girl. I'm all for her sleeping with whoever she wants because clearly Corey was. But you got to know how to be safe, and this is a. Such a big issue. I mean, wrap it up. I, I hope for her. It's all we used to say on BET. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wrapping wrap it up, up is important. And that sounds like what we have to do here. Do you guys wrap remember that? Um, oh, yeah. Jessica. Well, so Corey's up in her face. She's crying. And then Corey's response to her saying that she found out she's pregnant huh? is, hmm. Huh? And then he turns away. And then they cut. I'm afraid that anger is going to come out of this boy. And I really mm. hope that's not the case yet until he finds out what the situation is. Uh, that would be too bad. I mean, you, you got to stand by. If, if you impregnated somebody, that that's you. You did that. You but put your swimmers in somebody. But what if he didn't? If he I didn't, guess we'll find out. It's not a story. Week. All yeah, right. You'll find out. Well, Jenny, thank you so much for tuning in yeah, with us. Yeah. We appreciate it. Love Jenny. And where, where can all of your fans uh, follow you? Jenny C. Delich. And you can check out my website, www.jennydelich.com. Oh, yay. And uh, do we have any special projects coming up? I heard you have some appearances coming up. Yeah, I'll be at um, the DL in New York and Manhattan, oh, actually, on the 28th for, for a club appearance. And then, um, so check me out, come party. Hey. And then, hey, hey, hey. And then I'll be in um, a- Akron. Akron. I don't Akron? know how to say the name. Yeah. The name. A C R O N. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Akron. That's Akron. yeah. That city. I'll be there at the <laughs> Czar <laughs> Nightclub on March 14th. Awesome. And all that we can find on your website. Yep, and Twitter, Jenny C. Delich. Instagram, Jenny C. Delich. It's all the same. Follow Yay. her. Fabulous. Um, and if you guys want to hit us up, to hit us up at After Buzz TV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You can tweet me all week long at DJ Jesse J. You can find me at Roxy Stryer. Dre Renee underscore N. One last time, Jenny. Jenny C. Delich. Yay! Until next week, same time, same place. Peace. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Scarlett Johansson, who? The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.